Welcome back to the channel, everyone. All right, today, uh, hopefully I have a, another quick DIY video for you guys. Uh, as you guys probably can see from the thumbnail, uh, today we're just gonna go over the install of a second 3.5 TMAP uh, sensor, or of the second 3.5 bar TMAP sensor in my N55 engine. So, um, Anytime we actually have an opportunity to replace sensors, I always want to try to upgrade if I can. And if you guys don't know, uh, the 3.5 bar TMAP sensor is going to help you when it comes to the tuning process if you're planning on running additional boost. So if you will actually, what I'll do here is uh, in, in our video description, I will actually go ahead and put a link to the previous video I did when we did the 3.5 bar install into the charge pipe which is a, a typical upgrade that a lot of people will do. Uh, there's even an MHD option whenever you do your uh, tuning to select for that 3.5 uh, TMAP sensor. And the reason why is, uh, is the stock sensor that comes on the N55 engine, I think is capped at around 29, I mean, sorry, 22.9 PSI. So when you start uh, getting in excess of 20 uh, of, of 23 psi on your turbo your uh, your your sensors are not actually reading correctly what your boost level is that you're running so what you do is you go ahead and install that that new uh 3.5 bar in your charge pipe and then when you're doing your tuning your tuner is able to see how much pressure you have in your charge pipe before it's actually getting into your intake manifold and past your you know into your your engine so, but at this point, I am consistently running over 25 PSI with the new turbo. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait to get you guys some, some results on the dyno. But uh, my tuner decided to say, hey, you know, if we want to accurately be able to determine what boost we're running, it's best for us to go ahead and swap over uh, the, the MAP sensor on the intake manifold as well, too. So the sensor, like I said, my sensors at this point have about 168,000 miles on it, on them. Uh, the sensor was uh, giving me some issues from time to time. So I took this opportunity to go ahead and swap that out now, upgrade, upgrade to the 3.5. And so now I will be able to accurately measure what boost I'm running in the intake manifold, not only just the charge pipe. So uh, it's, a, it's a really good upgrade, gives you that, that really specific information that your tuner is going to need when you're actually tuning and you're running that high boost. So I'm going to turn the camera around, show you guys what we're actually doing today. Um, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, our Continental sensor is right here. This is uh, the 3.5 T, uh, TMAP sensor. Um, I will put a link down to the part number for the sensor right in the video description, okay? But uh, hopefully our lighting is going to be okay for you guys. Actually, that does not look good. So give me just a second. Let me see if I can get a light out real quick. Okay, so hopefully that lighting is a little bit better for you. So what we are actually going to hit is this actually right here in the intake manifold. This is our uh, the, the original map sensor that we have installed. As you guys will note, remember, down here is where we actually replace the one that's in the charge pipe. So the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, of course, unplug our plug, which I've already got it loose. You can see the, how the wiring is set up right now. I'm just basically going to reverse that wiring. I'm gonna replace the sensor, and then we'll get everything reinstalled. So I will do that real quick off camera. Again, try to keep this video short since I've already done that work in a previous video. Okay guys, as you guys can see, we've got the installation done. The new uh, sensor is installed. I will probably go back in. I need to actually buy a new, um, just a, um, I guess, connector. The one that will actually clip on to the new sensors because I have not done that yet. And it's, uh, it's pretty cheap to do that. So I will get that knocked out at some point. It's just ready for a new drive. So uh, we'll get in the car and take it for a spin. See what we got. Okay, so we've got the car warmed up and we're going to see about getting ourselves a quick log here for, uh, for our tuner and see. Uh... Smooth. 
I always like to grab two logs, so I just run down here, turn around, get one on the way back real quick, uh, and then we'll send this information off to David and see if we can't get a new revision. Uh, like I said, right now we are, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in, a, in the previous video or not, but we've been troubleshooting a little bit of issues here with fueling. So we've actually uh, scaled back the boost slightly until um, I can try to determine if we're going to be going with a, uh, what they call this cyber fogger. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more uh, control as far as uh, fueling or uh, while I kind of save time getting ready for uh, port injection is kind of the thoughts right now. So we're back into fourth right now. Come down this little hill. We'll just punch it here at about 2,500 RPM. that information so cars driving great um, you're not really going to see much difference as far as driving ability when it comes to installing the 3.5 bar a t-map sensor in the intake manifold again it is really just a, uh, a tuning um, parameter it, it actually helps you with identifying your boost so I uh, don't expect to, to see any changes as you're driving but uh, that's really all I wanted to do here on this video. Just a quick video, give you guys some quick information on how to get this installed as well as just give you kind of a, a little bit of um, information or knowledge base on why we actually do the, uh, the upgrade or the 3.5 T-MAP sensor. Um, if you guys like the camera setup, uh, definitely drop some comments down below. If you wanna see more uh, POV type content, please let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, everyone else be safe and we will catch you guys in the next video.